Hi, I'm Varsha. In this video, I'll discuss user types which explain managing users and their permissions. And companies that represent the organizations the SAP CPQ users belong to. I'll demonstrate a scenario to create these workspaces in SAP CPQ as well as add them when defining a user. Let's get started. User types can be used to specify how users interact with the system. Certain fields such as products visibility and workflow actions can have permissions set according to user types. Ultimate appliances need a new user type to be created in the system that will designate people who manage SAP CPQ administration as sales administrator. Those users need to have catalog set as their landing page and Ultimate Appliances needs to be added as a new company in SAP CPQ. Now let's discuss how to add user types. To go to user types from the catalog page, go to Setup. The Setup homepage appears. In the Users menu, select User Types. The list of all existing user types in SAP CPQ is displayed. To add a new user type, select this button here. Creating user types is very similar to creating users. In the group name, enter a name for the user type, which is Sales Administrator in this case. The system ID is populated by default. Enter a description if you want to. As a start page, you can select from the list of pages here. When a user who belongs to this user type logs into SAP CPQ, the page that you have selected here appears as the first page for them. If no page is selected, the catalog page appears by default. Let's leave this page blank for now. You can also select a product from the list of products as a start page. And similar to that of products, select a category that the users of this user type will be able to see once they log in. Let's select any category. You can view the categories in either format. Select tabular format. Here you see a list of sliders. Show prices. Turn the slider on if you want the prices to be visible for this user type. After providing all the relevant information for the user type, let's save and go back. See that the new user type that we have created is added here. Let's now discuss companies. Companies are organizations that SAP CPQ users belong to. They can be manufacturers, resellers, customers or clients. Now let's go ahead and create a new company. In the Users menu, you will find the Companies tab right below the User Types tab. Similar to that of the User Types or Users, here you see a list of companies already existing in the application. To add a new company, select this button here. The general tab for companies is very similar to that you have seen for user types. Enter a name and the system ID is populated by default. Enter a company code here and select a logo from the list of logos already available or you can create a new one. The company that you have just created is added to the list of companies here. Now let's discuss adding the user type and company created to define a user. When creating a new user, it's mandatory to select the user type and company details. These workspaces created earlier in this video appear as selectable options for a user. This concludes this video. Thanks for watching.